Uh, hello everyone, welcome to one of another Oracle DBA tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the Oracle uh, database parameter files, which is P file and SP file. When we starting the Oracle database, it always going with three phases. First, initially it will go with no mount stage, and then secondly it will go to the mount stage and at last it will open the database initially it will go with no mount here it will always search for parameter files this is what we are discussing today about what are all parameter files we have in our database what is the usage of parameter files oracle database has two parameter files p file and sp file now the question is why we have p file and sp file why we don't have only p file p file is human readable file because when we start the database you want to do some kind of changes manually then we can do it through p file now i want to make some changes using sql plus using query the command is alter system and the change you want then you can use sp file the thing is sp file is in binary format when we start the database by default oracle will try to find out the sp file if the sp file is not available then it will go to p file so what the p file and sp file contain the question is both are the same things only different is p file is human readable file whereas sp file is binary format but oracle database always recommends using sp file i have already said if sp file is not available then it will search for p file p file and sp file as a combination we call it parameter files which contain the information about database information like what is the database name what is the instance name what is the location of control file we always talk about a meme structure like like sga base information like memory information characteristics like nls characteristics and we are using the language all these informations will be recorded through parameter file so let's start practically uh, so go to your uh, uh, cmd here SQL plus as SysDBA okay now check database status here select name open mode from V dollar database as you can see, my database name is ORCL and the open mode is read write. So it means database is up and running. Let me check if database is using P file or SP file. Let's check this. My database is using P file or SP file. Show parameter SP file. If you get a value, then your database is of course using the sp file if this value is null and you don't have it means database is using parameter files so in my case as you can see my sp file is using this file which is the location is c users and this is the, the path so and this is the sp file name sp file so my database is using sp file 
probably in your case, you will not get a value here. So that means your database is using P5. Now let's check if the exists physical from output you got. So let's check show parameter dbnm. Here, the value is ORCL. It means my database name is ORCL. You will get the database name value. Now, question is from this output coming, this output comes from SP file. So my question was where this output comes. So this output comes from the SP file because my database is using SP file. In your case, if you don't get this value here, it means that your database is using parameter files, which comes here. It is because of this value is coming from your parameter files. But in my case, since I'm using SP file from my database, so this value is coming from SP file. So now let me show you something different. Show parameter. SGA So here that my SGA information output will come from P file. This this output which I have it here is always coming from P file. Always remember that P file is human readable SP file is binary format. Now you can create P file from SP file and vice versa. So we can create P file from SP file and SP file from P file. Note, we can take the backup of SP file, but we cannot take the backup of P file. Thank you so much. If you like the video, please do not forget to hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe the channel. And to how how to create P file from SP file and SP file from P file, I will show you in the next coming videos. So it, it all will be a practical. So we can, we can learn how to create P file from SP file and vice versa, how we can create SP file from P file. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to subscribe. And also please do not forget to like and uh, write your comments below in, in, a, in the comment section and please always share your ideas and your suggestion and that will help me a lot so to make better videos in the future. Thank you so much. Please do not forget to subscribe.